What's up guys, my name is Mr. Leaf Gaming, and today I'm going to show you how to do screen pumps on After Effects CC 2014. Awesome. Let's get started. Okay, so first what you want to do is you want to go on uh, your internet browser and uh, go, um... Go, uh, do go on this link. Just uh, type in this link or whatever. No, links gonna be in the description, so you can just click it. It'll send you this page. Click download. Save it to your desktop or wherever you want to save it to. And then, and then what you should do is you wanna extract it. And then you open it. As you can see, there's a synchronizer V3. So you could just um, put that off to the side or just close it or something. And then go. Um, I don't know how you do this on PC, but I know how to do this on Mac. So I'll do it on Mac. Application. You go to Applications. And then you go to Adobe After Effects CC 2014. You see this uh, plugins right beside presets. Looks like a little Lego brick. You click presets and then you make a um, you make a folder called custom presets. So just right click new folder and then custom presets. You know, and then um, and then I already have it. So you take that and then you take this and then you just drag it in. But I already have it in. So. Oh, well, it's lagging. Okay, that was weird. But that's what you have to do. Make sure After Effects is closed now, and then open it. <laughs> yeah, that was not very funny. Okay, so I'm just going to grab a, I guess, text file. Let's see, I'll just take... I'll just take a random file. Render. I'll take a render. Sure. Waffles plays MC. Shout out to Waffles plays MC for being awesome dude for tutorials on YouTube for Cinema 4D and After Effects. You should go. You should go check out his channel in the description below. Yeah. Pretty awesome dude. Um. Anyways. Yeah, we're gonna use this. Do, 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 do. And then we'll just use like a blue background or something. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Then we also need to. Okay, so you want to click new composition, make it 12A by 720 if you want to do 720p, and then 1920 by 1080 if you want to do 10. ADP. I'm just gonna call it main. Uh, we'll make it like make it 15 seconds. Fifteen. Fifteen. No, it's fifteen minutes. How do you do 15? Okay, zero, 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 zero. One, five. Yeah, it's 15 seconds, I believe. Okay, so, okay. I'll bring this, uh, I'll bring this in right here. Uh, okay. 
And what I and what also what you also need is a song. So what I do is I take a, a random song with like a beat drop. I drag it into this awesome program called Audacity. I'd cut out um cut out where the beat drop is. So that's like when uh when the beat drops so like everybody's partying like like whack, 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 whack. so um you can do it for whatever song you want i'll do it for, i'm gonna do it for a uh, sick bubblegum by skrillex i already cut out the part so and then what you want to do is you want to kind of drag it into the timeline and then you also want to drag this into the timeline I'm probably going to make it smaller. Oops. Okay, there. that's pretty good. And now, uh, don't worry if it looks blurry. We'll fix that at the end. Um, what else do I need to do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take out the wave waveform so I can see. What? Oh, did I do 15 frames instead of seconds? Dang it. That's not how you do 15 seconds. It's 0015. That's 15 seconds. Whoops. Oh, I should probably adjust this so that fits with that. Uh, we're also gonna add a new adjustment layer. So you wanna right click, new and uh, adjustment layer. That's gonna affect everything that you that's visible. So, um, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the part with the beat drop. So, right here, as you can see, it goes bubblegum. And then, it, um, and then right where he, this is, it goes work, 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 work. But first, what we need to do is we need to uh, find the, um, the BPM of the song. So, I'll do... Um, So there's this thing called Zong BPM. Uh, this actually isn't by zombies. It's called Skrillex. Well, there's two versions. So Skrillex, 128 BPM. So you want to go into this effects and presets tab. You want to type in synchronizer. Well, SY, and it'll show up. Uh, synchronizer V3, just drag down to the adjustment layer. And we have all these. So you just really want to close the bottom three because we don't need to adjust with those. So yeah, um, let's see. So you want to type in the BPM first. So 128. And then time. And then we're going to change uh, phase shift. So output is 100. So change this. So... It, it'll depend. Um, so just make this where the other one is, uh, where the up, up one, at uh, the top one that's red. Make sure that's 100, like, or like 99.9. .9. This is really important. Okay, so like 18.9. You know, just try experimenting with it. It's like, okay, 18 for me. For me, 18. It's different, but like with th like three point whatever seconds it is, like it's different. So you can't just write a number and be exactly 
without having a very lucky guess. So after that, you want to change the amplitude right here to 120. Um, yeah, okay. And you'll make sure that you're at the drop and then keep go to um, overall strength, so overall output strength right here. You want to click the little stopwatch and then go back five frames. So one, two, three, wait. Right, one, two, three, four, five, and then change it to zero. And now we have our screen pump, so we'll see it. Oh, no, 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 you click transform FX on. I forgot about that. And see it's uh, rendering, so you just use this little thing in the corner to render. And then you can, um, you can add like a background, say if you want like, I don't know, like new, solid, no, actually, we could just fill this. Do like orange. Orange, and then we just like put it over. And then we just put it under where is this, and then I. And then, yeah. So, um, oh, and you want to make sure that, okay, so as you can see, this render, uh, this, um, this render or whatever the picture in the song are lined up, make sure they're lined up. So you can see duration 11.11. .11. You see duration 11.11 .11. so we're gonna go to composition composition settings and then 11.11 .11. now it changes the time so that it stops exactly when the music stops and exactly when the other one stops So yeah, I'll show you how to render quickly, um, and then after that we'll be done with the video. So to render, all you want to do is add to render queue, and then you click output to this little blue thing. You, whatever you want, wherever you want, save. This doesn't, you can't really change that. And then save. See, that'll put where you, where you want to be. And then these settings, they're probably already on full, so it's fine. Uh, yeah, you probably wouldn't want to mess with these settings. Just click render up here where the cursor is, and it's rendering. And as you can see now, it's full quality, so. Okay, so now that we have it rendered, we can look at the da desktop, see how it is. It's going to take a while to load, but after that, it's going to be fine. It says, like, converting. So. And as you can see, he screen pumps. So after this, um, most editing softwares take it without uh, converting it. So you could just click don't save and it'll just stay like this. And then next time you have to do it, you'll have to go through this again. But it doesn't really matter. Um, so yeah, um, that's I guess that's about it for this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. 
for Minecraft and gaming videos. See you guys later. Peace out. Yeah.